Claude of France was born on October 13, 1499. She was the eldest daughter of King Louis XII of France and Anne of Brittany. Claude was named after Claude Le Besançon, a saint her mother had invoked during a pilgrimage in order to give birth to a living child, as many of her previous pregnancies had ended in miscarriage. When Anne of Brittany's first husband, King Charles VIII of France, died in 1498, Anne was 21 years old and childless. Legally, she was forced to marry the then new king, Louis XII. He was already married, however, to Joan of France, who was the daughter of Louis XI and sister of Charles VIII. Louis's wife, Joan of France, was so virtuous that she never had given him reason to justify his action, so the choice was made to buy the consent of the questionable Borgia Pope, Alexander VI, who consented to the wedding between Louis and Anne. As Anne of Brittany had no surviving children from her first marriage to Charles VIII of France, Claude became heiress to the Duchy of Brittany upon the moment of her birth, while the crown of France would pass to François of Angoulême if her father, the king, sired no male children of his own. According to Salic law, the French crown could not pass through female heirs. This would cause Claude to become the pawn of much dynastic maneuvering. In 1504, Anne of Brittany, in an attempt to keep her duchy independent of France, signed the Treaty of Blois, by which the hand of Claude was promised to the young Charles of Austria, the later Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. The engagement was soon cancelled by Louis XII, who opposed the idea of Brittany being co-ruled by the House of Habsburg. Thus, in 1506, Claude was betrothed to François, who was the heir presumptive to the Kingdom of France. Anne of Brittany died on January 9, 1514. Claude now inherited the Duchy of Brittany. That same year, on May 18, Claude married François, then Dauphin, of France. She never ruled over Brittany, because, in 1515, she gave the government of her dominions to her husband in perpetuity. Unlike her younger sister, Renée, Claude never showed any interest in her maternal inheritance, nor was she ever involved in politics, preferring to devote herself to religion. Although Claude was the best dynastic match for François, some people objected to the marriage on the basis of Claude's frail physique. Claude was short in stature and suffered from scoliosis, which caused her to have a hunched back. She was, quote, strangely corpulent, quote, very small and lame in both hips, and, quote, not beautiful. In 1514, Claude's father Louis married the English Mary Rose Tudor, but Louis's health deteriorated and he died on January 1st, 1515, effectively making François King of France and Claude Queen Consort of France. Claude was crowned queen in the Basilique of Saint-Denis on May 10, 1517. Claude spent almost her entire marriage in an endless round of annual pregnancies. She knew that despite her importance as the daughter of Louis XII, she needed to prove her worth by bearing a male heir, a duty her mother never fulfilled. Her husband had many mistresses, but was relatively discreet about it. Claude imposed a strict moral code in her own household, which only a few chose to ignore. When Claude became pregnant for the first time, most people assumed that she would die while giving birth. But Claude proved her critics wrong, giving birth to seven children during the period from 1515 to 1524. Historians calculated that Claude was pregnant 63 of the 122 months of her reign. These frequent pregnancies took a toll on the Queen's fragile health and she was unable to attend her husband's court and play a ceremonial role as often as etiquette required. The children born from the union between Claude and François I are Louise, who died at the age of three, Charlotte, who died at the age of seven, François, who died at the age of 18. He succeeded Claude as Duke of Brittany, but died unmarried and childless. Henri II, who succeeded François I as King of France and married Catherine de Medici. Madeleine, who married James V of Scotland. 
Charles, who died at the age of 23, unmarried and childless, and lastly Margaret, who married Emmanuel Philibert, the Duke of Savoie. While Claude was short and afflicted with scoliosis, her husband François was tall and athletic. Successive pregnancies made her appear continually plump. During the last years of her life, Claude suffered from extreme obesity. She supposedly contracted syphilis from her husband and died of exhaustion on July 20, 1524, at the Château de Blois. She was 24 years old. The exact cause of her death is disputed among historians. While some claim she died of childbirth or after a miscarriage, others believe she died of exhaustion after her many pregnancies or after suffering from bone tuberculosis. She was buried in the Basilica of Saint-Denis. After her death, Claude was initially succeeded as ruler of Brittany by her eldest son François, who became Duke François III, with François I as his guardian. After François's death in 1536, Claude's second son, Henri, Duc d'Orléans, became Dauphin of France and Duke of Brittany. He later became King of France as Henri II. François I, who had been quite respectful to his first wife, did not have the same regard for his second. François remarried the unattractive Eleanor of Austria, the sister of Emperor Charles V. The atmosphere at court became considerably more contentious and there were rumors that François's death in 1547 was due to syphilis. Thank you for watching.